Today I'm going to show you the setup process for your SafeNote support plan. When you're setting up your account, you'll be asked to initially put your personal details in. To log into your account going forward, you're going to need your email address, which will become your username and your correct mobile number. Um, this is for the 2FA codes that will be sent to you to access your account, that extra layer of security that we have there. And once you've completed all of the, the necessary fields within this initial sign up page, all you need to do is confirm that you've read and understood the privacy notices of Kiku um, and then click on the save and create my account button. Safe Notes is our simplest support plan. It does what the name suggests, it's a place for you to securely store your client contact details and your emergency contact details and of course your clinical notes. So the setup process for Safe Notes is really simple. The first thing that you'll want to do is to upload your client agreement. This will open up the GDPR digital consent feature for you, um, which will allow you to digitally send a copy of your terms of business to each client and ask them to provide a digital signature to agree to both your terms of business and um, data processing and storage under GDPR. The format of your client agreement needs to be PDF or a JPEG. That's just for um, security purposes. Unfortunately, Word documents, um, because they are editable, can cause problems with, with um, secure software like Kiku. So choose the file and click Save. And this is now stored on your account and can be issued to clients via the Request Digital GDPR Consent feature that you'll find within the client record, as you can see here. In Safe Notes, you'll predominantly work from your My Clients section. This is where you will create client records for each of your existing clients. You'll be able to archive these records as and when therapy comes to an end. And within the client record, that is where you'll be storing any contact details that you want to store alongside your clinical notes. Here you can create new client records either individually or you can import a, a number of clients all at once using our import client data feature. So when registering a new client, the only fields that are essential are the first name and last name. So it's really up to you what details you want to, to store, how you want to store them. Um, obviously the main thing is that you can differentiate between the different client entries. So if you wanted to just put a first name and a last name initial, you could do that. Within the referral details section, this is where you can differentiate between the different referral types. So if you, you want to make it known that this is a, an insurance referral, a, a, an employee assistance referral, or that it's a, a, a young person, a child that you're working with, you can put that in there. If you select insurance EAP or child and young person, that's going to open up some other fields that will allow you to store the contact details of the referrer, or obviously in the case of a child or a young person, the parent and guardian details and contact details. You have the option to add emergency contact details and GP details into the system as well, just to, to help you with your duty of care for your clients. And once you save those initial contact details, you'll then be taken to the full client record. And within that, that's where you'll be storing your clinical notes. As you start scrolling down the page, just look out for the quick links box there which will allow you to readily navigate to the session notes section and, and this is where you'll be storing your clinical notes as therapy progresses. And finally, if you'd like to use the system to create client letters, you can go to your account settings and here you can upload your business logo and this will be used in the header of any letters that you generate. And that's it. Your safe notes, a 
account is set up.